one click, you can build your new Toyota. Get a quote. Search current special offers. You can even see offers not seen on TV. Buyatoyota.com. Welcome to Patriots Today, I'm Brian Lowe. For kids from a dozen boys and girls clubs around New England, a semester's worth of work put into sports-related science projects culminated here at Gillette Stadium on Sunday as the Patriots and Raytheon hosted the second annual Science of Sports Science Fair. It was a chance for the kids to have some pretty high-profile people check out their work and maybe take home some scholarship money as well. It goes faster. The students' enthusiasm, passion, and knowledge were evident as a group of judges that included Patriots owner Robert Kraft, Raytheon CEO Bill Swanson, and Pat's offensive lineman Sebastian Vollmer ventured booth to booth to hear students explain their hypotheses and conclusions, giving the what, how, and whys of their science projects. It's less friction, they need to move faster, hence the name, Speed Skater. With Raytheon employees helping out as mentors, the middle school students spent about five months researching and constructing projects that tie math and science in with sports, from why tennis balls bounce a certain way on different surfaces to which sports drinks are most effective. We hope this sparks interest in young people, to, both male and female, to follow a career in that pattern. There were some good projects. And, you know, it, it's great to see kids getting excited and passionate about a certain thing. You know, it's football for me, but it might be science for them and just develop that strength and maybe, you know, get a spark going. And, yeah, we're not a might be CEO sitting in here. After the six judges deliberated over their notes and grades, it was time to award scholarships to the top three teams, with the winners each getting a $1,000 scholarship. The grand prize winning team is from Marlboro, Mass. Science fairs have come a long way uh, since I grew up. Um, these Raytheon mentors, pretty cool. I wish my kids had something like that. I had a, uh, had a chance to be exposed to math and science in the way that all of you have. For Robert and the Kraft family, civic leadership is a joy and a way of life. So it should come as no surprise that Robert embraces math and science education for the, with the same enthusiasm he shows for touchdowns and field goals. Well, in addition to the Marlboro Grand Prize winners, a group from Nashua, New Hampshire took the second prize, $750 scholarships each, and Dorchester, Massachusetts was the home of the third place winners, $500 scholarships each. A worthwhile and educational endeavor for everyone involved, from the students to the mentors to certainly the judges as well. That'll do it for this edition of the show. We'll see you next time on Patriots Today.